What is going on guys, it's coming to you once again with Anatomy in Three Dimensions, brought to you by anatomylearning.com. Please visit their website, linked in the description box below. So now we're going to move into our discussion on foot muscles, and gosh, this looks complicated, right? And it really is. Anything pretty much having to do with the foot is generally complicated. If you remember from my bones of the foot video, there is a fair amount of complication in regards to the markers and how they're shaped and they're all pretty significant but we only did a general overview and you're going to see that again where we're only going to do a general overview of the muscles. Apropos, I'm only going to make you memorize four of them. There's like four layers on the bottom alone, just layered on top of each other, muscle upon muscle upon muscle. But for our purposes, we're only gonna learn about the superficial layer on the bottom and generally only two muscles on the top that you really need to know, which are these two right here. The extensor digitorum brevis and the extensor hallucis brevis. All right, we remember that their long or longest counterparts originate up on the anterior portion of the shin now we have the brief or brevis versions originating as intrinsic muscles to the foot pretty much originating here at the calcaneus but one thing to notice is that the extensor digitorum brevis does not actually connect to the final phalange only the second third and fourth with the extensor hallucis brevis connecting to the big toe, hallucis, big toe, hallux. But for the most part, those are the only two on the dorsal side. This is the dorsal, the top portion of your foot. Those are the only two on the top portion of your foot. So those are the two on the dorsal or top portion of the foot that you need to know. Easy enough, right? Um, on the bottom though, there are gonna be three muscles that you're going to need to know. Um, I know uh, 3 plus 2 equals 5. I think I said I would only make you memorize 4 before. Sorry, I lied. There's actually 5 you're going to need to know. 2 on the top or the dorsal portion. Four, 3 on the bottom or the plantar. And I like to think of this as plantar because when you put your foot down, you're planting it down. You're going to have your plantar portion touching the ground. So the first muscle that you're going to need to know is going to be the flexor digitorum brevis. The flexor digitorum brevis as a counterpart to the flexor digitorum longus that you might remember goes from the back or the posterior portion of the leg and it's a really long muscle whose tendons go all the way down. But this is an intrinsic muscle that originates on the foot, um, more specifically attaches to the calcaneus and then runs up and extends its tendons all the way to all four of the small digits or small phalanges of the foot. Now this is going to be in pretty much contrast to the extensor digitorum brevis who only attach to the second, third, and fourth phalange. But the flexor digitorum brevis also extends up and controls this fifth phalange as well, the small toe. Just FYI, there is also a flexor hallucis brevis as well that controls this big toe, but I'm not gonna make you learn that one because it's actually in like, I believe a third layer of muscles, the third layer. And we're only gonna do the first layer because those are the most important for intro anatomy. So going back to this complete version of the muscles of the foot, I'm gonna point out the only other two that you need to know the abductor hallucis and the abductor digiti minimi and what they and what they um do is once again described in the name this one abducts the hallux abductor hallucis if you can uh, sort of m try to move your big toe off to the side abduct it away from your body what you're utilizing is this here, the abductor hallucis. And the same thing here with the abductor digiti minimi, digiti meaning digit, minimi meaning the smallest digit, your pinky toe. The abductor digiti minimi 
abducts or moves your pinky away from your midline. So you can try to do that with your body as well. And these are going to be the three superficial muscles that you're really going to need to know um, for our purposes. The abductor hallucis, the flexor digitoris brevis, and then the abductor digiti minimi. And then on the dorsal aspect, you have the extensor digitorum brevis and then the extensor hallucis brevis. So that's five muscles of the foot that you need. But if you guys do want me to take an in-depth look at the all the muscles of the foot, or maybe even the muscles and the bones of the foot in the same video or two different videos, let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.